In this video, I'm going to compare the Intel's uh, newer i7-6600U, the Skylake processor, with the i7-5500U, the Broadwell processor that was launched uh, a little earlier. So these uh, both of them have 40, 14 nanometer processor, and looks like Intel just tweaked a little bit in a Skylark. There's no substantial improvement in the processing power for a given clock frequency. So Skylark is essentially not a substantial design improvement, though it was supposed to be. So let's take a look at what's the difference between these two, and. Uh, looking at the uh, clock frequencies, because the number of cores and thread hyper-threading support is the same, so that means the base clock and the turbo clock frequencies are going to make difference. And we have 200 megahertz higher clock in Skylake and 400 megahertz higher clock in the turbo clock frequencies. Both of these are 15 megawatts, 15 watts part. Uh, another improvement in the i7-6600U is the support for the DDR4, which doesn't make it faster, but improve it improves its uh, power performance as it works only at 1.2 volts versus DDR3 that works at 1.5 volts. The integrated graphics, we have HD graphics 520, not 540, that's in i7-6650U. And 520 is slightly better than the HD graphics 5500. We don't have exact numbers here, but you can search for the difference using the HD graphics 5500 versus 520. So that's pretty much everything the difference between these. Let's take a look at the benchmark score, which is 47474 i7 6600 u in 3962. And that is not insignificant, but it's at the same time, it's not substantially uh, huge. I believe that this number here is slightly exaggerated. We have only two sample results, but uh, but this is what we have right now, and I think that's good enough information. And it's according to our prediction that these two, the difference between these two, comes basically from the uh, increase in the clock frequency. Uh, I think there are a couple of more things that you want to know and one is that we PCI Express gets pumped up from 2.0 to 3.0 and that allows us to have support for um, higher resolution display among the other things. We also have a faster, I think the DMI bus gets improved, let's take a look at the bus that connects the um, the uh, processor to the chipset. Uh, the Broadwell lists at 5 giga transfer per second DMI2, and although Intel does not list it here, we know that the Skylake has DMI3 bus that works at 8 giga transfer per second to the max, and that improves the max, the peak power, the transfer rate from the processor to the chipset and eventually to the PCI Express lanes. So this, those should work uh, faster if they uh, reach to that speed. I hope this comparison helps you. Thanks for taking a look.